there was a training I promised you when we did the training on the remote depths. And that was a form that is new to y'all when it comes to the recruiting world, and that's the DD Form 93. At first though, I need to say, I've got to put you out a challenge. Before you would probably do a DD Form 93 for one of your remote depths, go to NSIPS and print out your own DD Form 93. And you will see the level of detail that is required. There's basically no block left unturned. Now you can produce it and prove pride, but for the sake of this training, I'm gonna show you from uh, this particular computer that I have. So as I show, when pride pulls up, it's gonna already pre-fill the last name and the social for you. And as you go through, you're gonna wind up putting your member for the Navy and the UIC for our duty station. Now, if they, have it, if they don't have a spouse, you actually have to put none. And if they would never be married, you can put single. And let's say, keep this all consistent. None might mean no, no children too. That one you can actually just skip over. And then father. Now this has to be a blood father and blood mother's name that go in blocks of 6A and 7A respectively. Now you can have a situation where you have a father, father that they don't know the address for. So when you get to the address, you can put unknown. More than likely you'll have an address and a phone number. Um, and then of course the mother and as we move along. Now this one's interesting, block 8A. That is a do not notify due to ill health. Notify instead. Now where that comes up is that maybe you have a parent that is an invalid <clears throat> and the best means is to actually not to notify her directly but notify her sister or some other designated. This is a rare one. Most times for most of your candidates, it's gonna be none. So you actually have to put none. Um, designated persons are normally gonna be none. And usually contracting agency is gonna be not applicable. Now, this is where we really get into the meat of things. Blocks 11A through 13A are very important because you're basically designate the the member is designating who's going to receive their money and benefits if by some chance they perished. So this is where your research and even into your own is going to be very significant because it's going to, you're going to have to have addresses and phone numbers and full names for, and relationships listed for these things. So I know I said that I was single, I was single in the first first paragraph, but I actually am married, so I'm gonna put my wife here. This one actually has a separate relationship block. And then, you know, the city street and the telephone number. And then over on the other side, the percentage. And you might as well give it 100%. They can split these out, but uh, to make it easy for you, because you're usually in crunch, they should designate a specific somebody and designate the percentage accordingly. So you're going to need somebody for 11A, 12A, and 13A. Do not leave those blank. Now, the only thing you can leave blank is the continuation remarks. There's not often that you're going to have continuation remarks for someone who's augmenting to the military initially. Um, I know on my form, it does represent some health insurance outs, uh, other uh, health insurance outside source, uh, life insurance specifically. But most, most time your continuation remarks are gonna wind up being none, but you should write none there. So that was a quick and hopefully painless uh, review of the, of the DD Form 93. This is only going to be required for remote deaths. Normally what the process is, is that when someone picks their job at MEPS and they go down the hall for phase one, it's during the phase one process that a DD Form 93 is drafted. They actually go to finally submit on the day that they ship off. But it is one of the required documents for a remote debt package. 
So I thank you once again. I'm sorry it was such a delay trying to get this particular training out. Keep, keep doing the things that you do out there. Good luck.